this video will cover variance and standard deviation of an ungrouped data. Let's consider this question. Find the population variance and population standard deviation of this given sample. Afterwards, we'll find the sample variance and sample standard deviation of this given data. At the end of this solution, we are going to get four answers for this sample. Before we solve this problem, let's understand some important concepts. The first thing you should have in mind is the results of variance and standard deviation cannot be negative. If you get a negative, go back and check where you have probably made a mistake. The next thing to consider is that the variance needs to be calculated first, before the standard deviation. The square root of variance is known as standard deviation. The third thing to have in mind is there are two types of variance, hence standard deviation. Number one, we have population variance which gives us population standard deviation. We also have sample variance. When taking the square root, gives us standard deviation. For population standard deviation, we usually use N to denote the size of the sample. While for sample standard deviation, we use small N to denote the size of the sample. For population variance, the formula is this, which is sigma square, and we usually use capital N. While for sample variance, we use S square, and it will be small n minus 1. Hence, standard deviation for sample is the square root of the variance. The formulas here are for ungrouped data only. For group data, another formula is applied. Group data got a modified formula which has been treated on another video. Another thing to consider is always assume a given data to be sample variance and sample standard deviation unless otherwise instructed. Students don't like saying equations like this. Hence, just keep it simple like this. The square root of variance is standard deviation. This is for population and this is for sample. Both formulas for ungrouped data. That thing to remember is if frequency is involved, N, capital N, becomes the summation of the frequency. Now, let's consider step by step of how to solve this problem. Step number one, write out the formula for variance for population and for sample. By doing this first, will enable you know what you're looking out for in the calculation. Hence, we write out the formula. Step number two, count the number of data values. Here, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have n equal to eight. For sample, we use the little n for the size of the data. Step number three, calculate the mean. You can see for population mean, we normally use mu and capital letter N. Why for sample, we usually use X bar and small letter N. However, the meaning does not change, except where N is summation of F. Here, because you see capital letter N, it just telling you that you're dealing with population and when you solve this you get the mean 
to be 14.75. Hence, in step 4, start by drawing out a table like this. Starting with the value, the deviation, and the squared deviation. Which simply means in deviation, each value minus the mean. And afterward, you square it. In step 5, fill out the table with the data. Here, each of the data goes into the table, like this. After completing the x value, next, complete for the deviation. Here, x simply means 10, 12. Next, each of them will subtract the mean. And the mean was obtained to be 14.75. Hence, each of these will be 14.75. Next, compute for the results. After computing for each value, next, which is the squared deviation. Next, sum up all the values calculated. And you have, in step 6, calculate for the population variance. You can see that everything here, which have already been calculated, while n is 8. Hence, we got divide by 8. And we have, next, calculate for the population standard deviation. You can see that we got here the variance. Hence, the standard deviation becomes the square root of our answer becomes 3 point to two decimal places now that we have completed population variance and population standard deviation in step eight let's consider sample variance first the first thing you have to watch out here is instead of mu we now have x bar and instead of capital letter n we now have small letter n minus one however the answer we obtain here from the table will not change the mean, which is mu here, but now we got x bar. And the variance is going to be of 8, we're just going to have 8 minus 1. This is the difference between the population and the sample. The sample variance becomes having calculated the sample variance in step 9 let's consider the sample standard deviation the variance obtained in step 8 was the sample standard deviation become then we take the square root and our answer is in conclusion our sample variance is and our sample standard deviation is 3 point subsequently our population variance is and our population standard deviation is this is statistics you can try out this assignment and write your answers in the comment section always assume a given data to be a sample variance unless otherwise instructed you can follow the link on the screen to access other educational videos in this channel in the next video we will consider quartiles of an ungrouped data. I will see you in the next video.